Transcription and translation are terms used to describe two steps in the process by which cells take the information carried in their DNA and use it to perform the day-to-day -day activities required for life. While the processes described by the terms transcription and translation are fairly straightforward, many students use them incorrectly. This may not seem like a big deal, but misusing them demonstrates a failure to appreciate why these specific terms are used and why the use of words that describe the manipulation of language and writing makes sense. In order to be used by the cell, the information carried in the sequence of bases in the cell's DNA needs to be read in a way that results in the synthesis of the necessary proteins. This information is not transferred directly from DNA to protein, Two steps are required. First, the order of bases is read from DNA using specific enzymes to synthesize lengths of RNA. This RNA is then read by other parts of the cellular machinery to synthesize proteins. Transcription and translation are the terms used to describe each of these steps. These language-related terms work because the type of information transfer that occurs at each step is analogous to transcribing and translating words. DNA, RNA, and protein are all made up of linear strands of subunits. The subunits in both RNA and DNA are nucleic acids. DNA uses guanine, cytosine, adenine, and thymine, while RNA uses guanine, cytosine, adenine, and uracil. Proteins, on the other hand, are made up of linear strands of amino acids. This is why the language terms work for the names of these two steps. DNA and RNA use the same alphabet, so the transfer of information from DNA to RNA is analogous to transcribing words from one form to another in the same language. While the second step translates the information from the language of nucleic acids to the language of amino acids. If you found this video helpful, please consider sharing it and giving it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment with any questions or suggestions. And if you want to keep up with the content here at Science Primer, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.